Hi there, um, I'm Dr. Ian Dunbar. Welcome back to the Dunbar Academy Mailbag. I have a whole bunch of questions here that were submitted to us. Um, let's start off with this page first, shall we? Um, this is from Margie. And she says, how can I, she says, uh, oh, some background. Um, Max, a seven month old Pembroke Welsh Corgi came from a show breeder who does extensive socialization with her pups. Um, I would like that to be objectified. What actually has the breeder done? You know, it's very easy to say, yes, we do extensive socialization, but how many people have actually handled the pups prior to eight weeks of age? Uh, the other litter mates are very outgoing, but Max is not. He's slow to warm up strangers and sometimes very fearful, especially around children. Sorry, I'm laughing because these are the euphemisms that everyone use. He takes a while to warm to strangers, you know, he's a bit dodgy around children. And then he becomes standoffish, aloof, wary, fearful, and then we have a problem. And every time I read this, I mean, I've only just got, haven't got to a question yet, but just getting into the history. I wish I could turn the clock back and uh, I see in this list we have a lo whole load of questions about uh, fearfulness um, and aggression. He's now very fearful, especially around children. We picked him up at 11 weeks old. Yeah, you know, the optimal time to pick a puppy is eight weeks when you consider all the pros and cons. You know, 11 weeks is cool if the breeder is truly having, you know, 30, 40 people coming in each week and the breeder's house training, obedience training, you know, manners training the dog while it's there. Otherwise, you know, we're cutting down on, on the real important bonding time with the family, um, family and friends and visitors. So 11 weeks, it really depends what the breeder has done. We're doing the right things. We were doing the right things, socializing, bore him to puppy class, had puppy parties. Um, the puppy class is, is not a place to socialize a dog. It's a place to go with a socialized puppy so the trainer can look for any warning signs that things aren't going the way they are. That, you know, normal development is puppies are super confident and friendly. If they aren't, that's a huge warning bell. Then about four and a half, five, six, seven, eight months, they start to become standoffish, wary, aloof, um, fearful. I mean, that is normal development. That will happen if we don't keep up the socialization. Puppy parties, that's good at the house, bringing the people to the house. Didn't force him to interact with anyone he was fearful of. Um, that's cool, but also you must get the puppy over it. As soon as you notice a sign that the puppy is slow to approach, um, usually it's a visitor, a stranger, often a man or a child, sometimes it's a family member that he's slow to approach a family member. This is a colossal warning sign and now no food bowl. All food is hand fed by this person. Or to make it universal, all food is hand fed by visitors to the house because while he's a puppy, you know, uh, you got him at 11 weeks, um, until he's 13, 14 weeks, I probably wouldn't be taking him to places which are risky like um, dog parks in low income areas, low income, low vaccination, so probably high virus load, uh, having them on the ground outside the vet clinic or in the waiting room, things like this. But you can bring the people to the house quite safely. Outdoor shoes remain outside and then everyone comes in to feed the dog dinner that night. That's how it's done. One warning sign, you got to jump on it really quickly. He will work for most trainers, sit down, shake, etc. That's good for treats and accepts them when offered. But when approaching to pet without treats in hand, he shies away. His temperament seems to be sound in all other aspects of this. Um, well, there, there's no question here, but I, I guess the question is, um, what do we do? So there's two things, what we should have done. We, we, we have this online. It's why we put it up for free. It's why we offer the free books. It's so important, this socialization. We can't turn the clock back now. The older a fearful dog, the longer it will take to rehabilitate. And when you get to a certain age, like at three months, you can turn it around in a puppy class. You can turn it around in a puppy party. You know, at five months, it's going to take several months. But at eight months, it's going to take years. And that dog could never have been what he could have been. So from now on, 
no food bowl, absolutely no food bowl. This dog needs help. He's fearful, he's anxious, he's not happy, life is not good. We got to make it good for him, we got to do it quickly. So basic kibble in training, I wouldn't use treats, just makes it harder to phase out food. Basic kibble in training, weigh it out in the morning, hand fed by visitors. I would say every night people come to your house. It needn't be a puppy party every night, it can be your best friend and uh, they bring along a friend but hand feeding the puppy and they keep stepping away from him. So we're getting the puppy to approach. It's not sufficient that the puppy eventually approaches and then he's cool because he takes a while to warm to strangers. We want to reward the approach. So hand feed, then back up. Call the puppy, come, hand feed, back up. Call the puppy, come sit, come sit, treat, come sit, treat, come sit, treat. And then come sit, take the collar, treat. Then come sit, start to pet it, treat. Um, and as I say, um, this is an emergency. It's an emergency. And when you really take this seriously, in one week, um, he's seven months old now, um, it's going to take a long time, but in one week you can you can rehabilitate him to the, uh, the the level that he can now manage controlled settings like visitors to the house. It'll take a longer while to uh, rehabilitate him so he can manage strangers and the unpredictability of the the big world outside on the streets, uh, children on skateboards, uh, uh, women on motorcycles, or, or, or whatever it is, people joggers, um, delivery people. Um, but I have a maxim, home and family first. And this is the easiest way to go about it. Oh my word, we have a spider descending in front of my face. There you go, baby. Catch as many flies as possible. Good. <laughs> that was so difficult to talk to a spider there. Anyway, at least someone's interested. Home and family first. So the first thing to do is to make sure that Max is cool in his own home. And so we're starting with a small core social group. First, the family. Yes, the family does all these exercises first to teach the dog the game. And it seems that he's very amenable, uh, play, you know, training with treats, you know, high five and all that stuff. Then we bring in a couple of best friends or frequent visitors to the house. And then we expand that core social group till it's up to about 20 or 30 people who frequently come to your house. And at that point, now Max's quality of life is a lot better. You know, you needn't take him outside. If you do, I suggest you go outside the house and sit and watch on your porch. You watch the world go by. And every time someone walks by, a person, a jogger, bicyclist, even a car, certainly a person with a dog. You say, hey Max, look, there's someone walking. Here's six treats. Home and family first, and then he can start to get outside, but sitting and watching the world go by. Then we can start little walks, but not round the block. No, go up the sidewalk this way 20 yards, then come back, and then 25 yards up that way, back and forth. So you're covering familiar territory. Um, it's going to take several months. Wish I could turn the clock back. You know, it's why we have dogstardaily.com. It's free. It's why we have Dunbar Academy with so much free information. That this stuff is, it's, it's too important to sell. I mean, that was the decision we made. And so we thought we'd like to make this information for free. So please do it. Take a week and you'll see an improvement. It'll take months, though, before Max can, can really go for walks again. So thank you very much for the question, Margie, and let us know how it goes. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more, make sure you visit DunbarAcademy.com and check out our selection of free dog training and behavior courses. If you'd rather watch some more videos here on YouTube, click right over here or here. And if you want to watch our new videos as we post them, click here to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell.